All right, I have here hanging a piece of plastic. It's just a uh, piece of PVC pipe that I've suspended from a, a string hanging from my door. Uh, I've done nothing other than hang it up, and I have an identical, or a very similar, I should say, piece of pipe that uh, I'm holding in my hand. If I bring this second PVC pipe up to the first one, nothing has been done to them if I bring it near it nothing happens right but if I take a piece of wool and I rub the second PVC pipe and then I take the same piece of wool and I rub the hanging PVC so that I've done the same thing to both pieces of PVC. Then when I when I bring the two close to each other, watch what happens. The hanging piece is repelled away from the piece that I'm holding in my hand. You see that? Let me make sure that's clear. Let's try to hold this still. Watch again. Clearly it's repelled. Okay. Now, I also have a hanging glass rod right next to the piece of plastic. There's my hanging glass rod. Alright, so there's my hanging glass rod. And I have a silk necktie. I also have another glass rod. If I rub the glass rod with the silk, first that one, now the one I'm holding. It too is repelled, the, the hanging one is repelled. So we've observed two things already. We've observed that um, this, the action of rubbing can imbue a quality that we call charge into a previously uncharged material. And second, we've observed that if we have like charges brought near each other, then we will get a repulsive force. What if I take that glass rod and bring it close to the plastic rod. Now the plastic rod seems to be attracted to the glass rod. See that? Oh, touched because it was attracted. And then likewise, if I bring the plastic rod to the hanging glass rod, it is also attracted.